everybody doing tonight? This is Baba's Final Sin, Hazy India Pale Ale. And this one was canned on December the 2nd, so 10 days out. This is the uh, freshest can that I have um, for uh, New England IPAs that I just got from Tomas. So comes in at 7.2% ABV and uh, Galaxy and, does that say Brew 1? Brew 1 or Brew 7? I think it's Brew 1. Never heard of those hops. Um, so maybe a new variety or, you know, whatever. Something, something I haven't heard of. Let's check it out. So, um, you know, I've had a bunch of their uh, New England IPAs um, from his, uh, his boxes that we've traded. Um, I'm super big on, like, day of fresh, green, somewhat astringent, you know, IPAs. So I'm hoping this still has a bit of that character, um, even at 10 days out, but... Let's see. So it pours out pretty hazy, but it's not it's not like the super like almost white, thick cloudiness. Um, pretty uh, pretty nice foamy, slightly off white head. It's got like this deep, kind of murky orange type hue to it. So um, check out the aroma. Ooh, okay. Man, that is pretty dank. So really that, it's got, it has that like tropical kind of underlying, um, almost slightly sweet character. You know, when you think about like overripe tropical fruits. So I think like overripe mango or lychee even. And it's got like that, like super West Coast dank um, type of character to it. I don't remember specifically like Okay, so all the all the, uh, the old Stone and Joy buys, um, like from years and years ago, had that same kind of like really dank quality where it's almost I don't want to say onion and garlic because that sounds kind of bad in a beer, but really it isn't. It, it's towards that sort of uh, aroma, um, but I like that in in uh, IPAs. It's not quite that intense, but it's 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 a bit of blend of that like you know tropical New England style versus that really dank West Coast type of aroma. So it's intriguing me a lot. Check it out. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is good. All right. So first off, um, it's not really astringent which is fine. Um, I do like that hot burn character. Um, but aside from that, and the tro it's, it's everything on the aroma. Really tropical, um, overripe fruits, uh, mango, the lychee that I had mentioned, uh, papaya, and then that, uh, that, that really green kind of dank character there as well. And that, that in the sense of it not being astringent. Man. That is fantastic. And this reminds me of, what does this remind me of? This doesn't remind me of like the new, I guess, school of New England IPAs. When you think about like uh, Monkish or Other Half, um, you know, in Ingenious, uh, anybody else, Spindle Tap, whatever where it has more of that like that really thick kind of almost white hue that pillowy like pillowy um more of that kind of like hot burn stringent type character but it's like this kind of has that like almost hill farmstead like feel from their their version of new england ipas back before all the you know newer breweries started doing it so it's got like that that you know the New England feel to it, but it also has more of a classic type of feel to it. Um, and that's kind of what I'm getting off of this. It's like that blend of the new school of New England IPA and kind of the older, which is what, you know, a lot of things like Hetty Topper and um, Hill Farmstead and all that kind of work. Um, so this reminds me a lot of that, which is awesome because I haven't had anything like this in quite, oh, quite a while. And I do really enjoy that nice blend of the two. Um, I don't really know which one what I prefer. Probably, I still really like things with like that hot burn type character, but um, yeah, this is awesome. Um, just to kind of have that throwback of like the old school New England IPAs. 
Um, so this is awesome. I'm really, really digging this quite a bit. Yeah, I love it. This is good. This is great. This is easily 4.5. It might be 4.75 for me, actually. Um, there is just enough bitterness there to carry it through on the end, um, but it's definitely not. It's certainly nowhere near towards bitter or anything like that, but just enough to where it's not too sweet. So, awesome stuff. Let's call it an even 4.6 plus, I guess. Probably go to 7.5 when untapped, but yeah, thank you. The Moss again. Awesome stuff. Final Sin. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say. So as always, cheers. Catch you guys later.